welcome back to my channel and for today I'd be talking about the things that I did great during my demonstration class and the things that are not basically we'll be talking about the pros and cons of my demonstration now guys basically these are the actual comments on my overall performance during the demonstration number one pro that you have to remember is you have to make your own examples in your own words guys basically it is one of the very good thing that you do during your demonstration that you're able to show that you are capable of teaching the child not just relying solely on the material but as well as you're able to come up with your own examples number two pro is type on the board that way that would make the lesson more clear to the student visually not just through hearing because the more na, um, you type on the board the more that you show to the student the things that you are teaching them or yung lesson the more na makukuha at magigets at makakalearn yung student so it's one thing that you have to remember while doing demonstration type things on the board kahit kahit medyo hindi siya for you, na parang kino consider mo na it's not that important, but guys, it's really just make it a habit to always type things on the computer, even by asking simple questions such as "What is your name?" You can type that question because in that way, the student will be learning as well. Um, especially if the student doesn't know what "What is your name?" means. So in that way, you are also teaching the student other things. Number three pro is check your student's comprehension. So what does this mean is that you make sure that the student really understand what you're talking about. So one way to check the student's comprehension is you make her have her own examples, like ask her to explain in her own words or ask questions related to the topic that you've just tackled. Number four pro is extended synonyms. So that means that as you try to define the vocabulary because there are some materials that has vocabulary so you don't just read the meaning but you try to prepare other meanings as well or on your own words to make the definition simpler and easy to be grasped by the students. So extended synonyms. So you can provide other examples or other synonyms of that word that is not provided in the material. Our next pro is corrected pronunciation. One positive comment on my demonstration is that I corrected the student's pronunciation. Of course, guys, I think Akad Sok is really um, trying to look more into the technicalities of English pronunciations grammar so it is important for Akatsok and as a teacher as a future teacher in Akatsok you'd be able to tell what's the right and wrong pronunciations of the word so guys um, as a teacher of course um, kahit hindi kayo confident na you are perfect with the, all of the pronunciations of all the words but you can always check on the internet you can do multitasking while having your class you can have another pre-opened and prepared na tab for pronunciation you can just play it whenever you're unsure of the pronunciation of the word but that's for the classes the regular class that you'll be having in the future for the demonstration during your demonstration of course i think na parang nervous pa kayo niyan. So, you better prepare ahead of time. You check the pronunciations and the material. Kasi guys, the material is, uh, can be accessed naman prior to your demonstration na schedule. So, for example, the demonstration is on Wednesday, let's say 10 a.m. You can have your material checked Tuesday night. Kasi may mga tendencies that the material will change. So, you better check it um, really as often as you can kasi baka ma-change yun at yung prepare nyo is not the same as what you studied. So, yung prepare nyo is hindi yun pala yung, um, yung gagamitin nyo during your demonstration. So, again, check ahead of time your material and study your material including the pronunciations, the meanings, so you can prepare 
um, synonyms. The next positive comment gave the students feedback. So guys, during the demonstration, when you have already one minute left, even if you finished or not, you really have to end the class. If, for example, meron pang mga three pages ng material na hindi nyo na-cover, it's okay guys, don't be pressured na hindi nyo siya ma-cover during the, or the demonstration class. You can always say na, okay, since we don't have time left, you can uh, read this, the rest of the pages on your own. And please study, since our time is already running out, I'll be giving you some um, some suggestions in my comments on your English. Guys, give feedback. So, may it be on the pronunciations. You can just, you know, summarize the words that you've corrected during the demonstrations. For example, okay, please don't forget these words that we've corrected earlier. For example, um, happy, okay? Um, the word transition, the word album. So, yun. And you can also um, make general comments about her pronunciation. You can say, um, as for your pronunciation, I think that you have to improve more because I'm hearing a lot of R sounds. So, you can always check for other comments na magagamit nyo. So, prepare, prepare lang tayo ng mga general na mga comments na magagamit nyo for your students during the demonstration class. And the next positive comment is ask before ending. So, yun na guys, one minute before your demonstration class will end, you'd be like saying your comments to the student, your suggestions. You can say for the suggestions, okay, I, I, I think or I suggest that you study, you run through this material and the corrections and the lessons that we've just covered, including the pronunciations. And then after you mag give yung feedback new new after you mag give ma mabigay yung feedback new for example and now before I say goodbye or before we end this class do you have anything to ask or clarifications or questions or you can simply say do you have any questions and then your student uh, most of the time sa sabihin na no no or none. Okay, so you can say your goodbyes already then. So, sabihin nyo. Okay, if you have no more questions, then goodbye. I hope to see you next time. And have a good day ahead. Ganun lang. So, you ask question before you end. Now, guys, let's go back to the negative comments on my demonstration class. So, number one negative comment is unstable network. So, I admit talaga, guys, na I have this unstable network. My internet provider is Globe, and sa location ko rin po, it's um, a bit remote and hindi available yung mga upgraded na mga services ng mga internet provider. So that's why, well, as long as I'm, uh, I am accepted in the ACAD, so it's okay and uh, nagagamit ko naman siya and um, Yun lang guys, may comment siya sa aking internet connection. Number through negative, number through, number two negative comment is I had an accent daw sa P during sa parang isa sa, isa sa mga vocabulary during my demonstration. The word is pulp, pulp. So I haven't really checked prior to the demonstration what's the correct pronunciation of pulp. Kasi I'm I'm sort of parang okay. Alam ko na to ganun. So it turned out na hindi pala yun yung Ewan ko naka-comment yung and until now hindi ko pa siya na-check kung anong pr proper pronunciation and how you read pop. So pop or pop. I don't know. Pop. 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 Paano ba yun? Sabi niya, meron daw akong accent sa P, sa pop. I don't know if it's the first P or the last P. Well, the second negative comment is, I'm sorry, we are in the third, had a bit local of intonation. So, this one, guys, is something that I can't really determine if it's, I really have this because during demonstration, focus ka na kasi sa pag-give ng 
a lesson to the student and even sa mga classes mo na. So guys, um, yun yung minu-workout ko parin. Tapos narinig ko na I have to get rid of this intonation na hindi ko mapansin-pansin kasi nga focus ako on, focus ako on, focus ako, fo I'm focused on giving the lesson to the students. So, I think I uh, really have to review kasi mayroon yung mga recordings after each class that you will have. Even the demonstration, mayroon rin siyang recording. So, you can check on that and you can, you can, like, assess yourself na, oh, my intonation pa talaga ako. So, for my case, yeah, um, napansin ko talaga siya. Right after a series of classes, siguro mga during my demonstration class, hindi ko pa siya shadow, masyado madetermine which in which part lumalabas yung intonation, local intonation ko. But after having my class for my first and second days, dun na yun lumalabas kasi parang really the way I interact with the student, I interact in my own way and in my original and my authentic na lang na pagka ako. So unknowingly na nalalagay ko yung intonation ko. So, guys, it's one thing na tinitignan during your demonstration, your intonation. As I've said, guys, yung Akad Sok, si Akad Sok is, parang, it focuses on the technicalities of English language, including the pronunciation, grammar, and intonation. So, they prefer neutral accent so meaning there's no accent na ma, ma distinguish and american accent so if you can do american accent please continue doing so and also neutral pag meron kayong mga bit of local intonations just like me um practice tayo guys and the last negative comment during my demonstration class is i haven't summarized the lesson so yung ginawa ko po after siguro ng mga two minutes Two minutes left on my demonstration, I just did my comments sa aking student. I said, no, ito yun, um, ganito ka, you're already good in your pronunciation, but a little more practice to com may mga ganon. And then I proceeded then asking the student, if you, do you have any question before we end this class? So, hindi ko na summarize yung mga yung mga dapat na yung mga lesson na natakal namin. For example, um, in this lesson, we've tackled, uh, we've covered five new vocabularies and new words. These are the, so hindi ko yung siya ginawa, guys. So, isa yun sa mga dapat nyong um, tignan at i-remember during the demonstration class. And also, class tips! May pabonas tips tayo, class. Isa sa mga dapat nyong gawin during the demonstration is you really um, play something in the chat box. May feature dun sa um, class sa class tool na may chat siya, chat box. So, dun yung mga pronunciation na you will notice na hindi siya tama at you will correct the student. Yung proper pronunciation you can place it at the chat box. Tip number one, use the chat box. Tip number two, write on the board. Alam na yan, sinabi ko na yan. So, it's a positive, really, a positive thing if you do, if you type things on the board. If you type things on the board, so for example, your statement, or if you do want to correct your statements, so sabihin nyo na, um, okay, the proper way to say that is, I enjoyed playing. I enjoyed playing. So, you type nyo siya sa board na makita ng student. Number three tip is you come early um, sa class during that's for the demonstration. So, you come early because, syempre, if you come early, hindi kayo, yung nervousness nyo, malalesen. At syempre, alam nyo na, dapat practice rin kayo sa tools. Practice rin kayo sa tools, guys, sa uh, class in. Um, next tip is, you can upload na makaka-enhance na understanding ng estudyante nyo. So, for my case, I uploaded a lot of pictures, pero... <laughs> While doing the demonstration now, nalimutan ko na at hindi ko na siya ma mapalabas kasi parang na-focus na ako masyado na dapat natapos ko na ito, ganun. So guys, yung nangyari sa demonstration ko is hindi ko na tapos yung overall material kasi parang nag-focus ako in some parts. No pressure guys, hindi naman talaga siya tinitignan masyado. But, yun nga guys, um, 
cover just everything that you can cover and don't be pressured much na dapat kayong magbadali kasi wala na yung time. So, don't be pressured much. And also, one thing that you'd look into as well is the pace or yung yung pagsasalita niyo. If it's too slow or too fast or normal speed lang. So, meron naman siyang, uh, meron naman yung details ng estudyante, no? Estudyante nyo, no? Anong preferred yung estudyante nyo? Meron tayong basic, intermediate, and advanced students. So, doon sa basic, doon kayo magsasalita ng slow. Like, slow as, as in slow na, what is your name? Ganun. So, intermediate, yun yung normal pace nyo. So, ganito lang. Guys, ganito lang yung tono ng pagpasasalita nyo. And yung advanced is, pwede na kayong talagang fast na. Kasi, marunong na marunong na talaga yung mga students. Pero guys, hindi ibig sabihin na na-advanced siya. Kasi, pwede sa advanced siya is, marunong talaga siya. Kasi, meron ako mga experience na hindi ganun. Parang marami pang pronunciation issues. So, ganun. Overall tips for the demonstration. First, practice. Second, be lively and enthusiastic. Use hand gestures. Fourth, use the chat box. Be sure to do the demonstration in a well-lit room um, and with a white background. Be sure that your, of course, your setup is no technical issues at all. So guys, I hope this helps you a lot. This is all I can give you during my demonstrations. And dun sa mga gusto mag-apply ng Akadsoc, guys, Akadsoc is still hiring. You can click down below the link in my description box for you to apply. So yung gagawin nyo lang is log in nyo lang details nyo at saka mag-contact na sa inyo. So this is all for my vlog. I hope na this will help you guys. And I hope to be like your colleague to here in this Akad so goodbye and see you in my next vlog in my next video this is again teacher rose and goodbye